YouTubers, how you guys doing? How you guys doing? It's Jermaine Man, Magic Man. Like I always say, ta da ta da. Let's move on. Let's move on. Before I get started, I would like to say a few words from. It's been 18 years since 9 11 happened. They've been talking about it on news all day today. They asked, do you remember where you were? When 9-11 happened 18 years ago. Yes, I did. I was at my day job grinding a, a, a mica company, grinding the mica. And my boss comes out and started screaming to have everybody come into the break room. We turn on the television and next you know, we saw the Twin Towers started coming down. And wow, we went outside just to go outside to take a breather because a lot of us were breaking down crying, including myself, because it's very, very sad. We could hear not one airplane. They were grounded. I think just for one day or a couple days after we were hearing it, we were, we were glued to the TV for days, weeks. Believe it or not, 18 years, wow. An 18 year old could vote now if they were born when 9 11 happened. Everybody who is under the age of 18, do me a favor, look up the tragedy on YouTube or your local library or TV footage. It was disastrous. We, we um, pulled together, well, not me, but New York pulled together and firefighters and everything um, pulled together and tried to get many people out. My wife and I had a chance uh, a couple Christmases ago um, to come to New York. And see the memorial. You heard a pen drop there. No one talked, but looked at each name. I looked around. My wife looked around. We saw people just sobbing. It was very sad. <laughs> My last job, I ran into one of the head guys that worked there. When we were talking about New York, what they just for the fun of it. Well, needs to say he was one of the bosses, one of the big time bosses in New York City's uh, second tower. He was telling me he heard over the PA system, no worries, no worries, or something like that. Well, needs to say, he told all his colleagues to go and get out disregard them saying stay in your seats just go go he cleared his whole crew out and before he got to finish but it, what he was talking about I see the tears rolling down his eyes so I ended that conversation because it was very very sad it was so remember like they the thing is, 9-11 will always, wow. So, you young kids, if you want to see what really happened, please ask your parents permission first to look it up about 9-11, how it started, the reason, and the plane crashes. Believe it or not, one of the planes that was hijacked that day flew over Hopkins Airport going to Pennsylvania where the <clears throat> passengers took the plane over and had to do what they had to do. So, I'm going to bow my head 
pay remembrance of people who sacrificed their lives. Thank you for the first responders. Thank you. And everybody who was lost their lives that day in the tragedy of 9-11. God bless. God bless your family. Whew. That was sad. Um, well, this week I have finishing up Nuevo Acapulco and then also guess what? I'm going to be doing a special thing this weekend. Thanks to my good friend Mitch from the Marissa's Foundation. He set me up. Not only am I going to be helping out of his booth, help raise money for the Heart Foundation downtown Cleveland for the uh, run, he got me set up. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be performing on the main stage, doing magic for 20 minutes for a large, large crowd. I want to thank Mitch for helping me get there. I appreciate it. Well, I'm not going to stay here too long because I have to get ready to go to Nuevo Acapulco. Thank you guys for everybody for tuning to my YouTube channel and still sticking with me trying to get to make this channel go to 1K. I appreciate it. <clears throat> I'm going to sign off here. Like I always say, ta-da, ta-da, let's move on, let's move on. Bye!